Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hamilton. I'm here at the Massachusetts Conference for Women, and I'm here with the beautiful Megan Rothschild. If you can pan down, check out these <laughs> shoes, everybody. I've got boots on. I always wear I'm a few from, I'm from Maine. Maine. <laughs> I'm from Maine, so we're in boots and snow. Yes. Those are cool. Anyway, hi. Hi. So nice to meet you. Nice so to meet you. Start off shoot you. Sure. Um, gosh, our audience is going to be a little bit new to you, maybe, maybe not, kind of mixed. I would love to hear. I know you're a cancer survivor. I am. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that? I know there's so much. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I am a 10-year cancer survivor. I had melanoma stage 2 at the age of 20. Um, I was diagnosed after uh, pointing out a suspicious mold to my doctor and, and really pushing to have it removed. So um, that was a really interesting time in my life, but it also catapulted me into a career and becoming the woman that I am today. I, I work very closely with the Melanoma Foundation in New England as a PR and marketing manager. So it's part of um, who I've become. You know? yeah, absolutely. Do you tell us, do you want to talk about just to help people out there with melanoma and so forth, um, spotting or detection, sure. what to do, you know, what, what those things look like. Absolutely. We, about it. Yeah, no, we always um, promote the ABCDEs, which are the warning signs of melanoma. And that stands for asymmetrical, B for border irregularity, C for color differentiation, D for diameter, and E for evolution. And basically what I say to people is, if you have any spots on your skin, you should probably be seeing a dermatologist once a year and they should be checking you out. Um, and that's kind of just the basic health thing that you should be doing every year to keep yourself healthy and checked and all that. So um, People don't think you can die from that. They don't, and that's the thing. Melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer and it can travel inside the body and, and unfortunately go to surrounding organs. So it's really important that you get checked and that you take care of your skin and you be proactive about your health. What are you here today to speak about? I am actually, so I also own a marketing and PR firm. Heard that. <laughs> uh, Chick Media, we focus on women run organizations. Um, and I am giving a uh, discussion on social media 101 and oh, awesome. how to get organized, how to get started for those who maybe aren't really social media savvy. Um, I'm going to give a little um, overview on, on how you get started because it can be very overwhelming. <laughs> give us some tips. Do you want to give us one or two? Because yeah. everybody has that. I'm on social media all the time and I'm mm -hmm. for boys and like, get <laughs> Well, I think the first um, tip is to really do your research in terms of what platforms you should be on. You don't necessarily need to be on every single platform. Um, it depends on your business, it depends on who your audience is, your age demographics of your audience. And that's really the first step is determining where you should be personally and where your business should be. So I'd say that's where you get started. Yeah. And, and like. Snapchat. My kids are like, Mom, join Snapchat. I'm like, I think I could possibly be too old at 45 years old for Snapchat. I'm not I, sure. I, Snapchat is the age matter. No, no. I mean, you can, I mean, it depends on if you're targeting a specific age, yes. But in terms of if you want to just be on it for your kids or your, so, you know, your own social purposes, then no. But, but genius point there, because if you're targeting right a certain area, then it might make sense to be on Snapchat. That's true. I know. Or Instagram or, you know, Twitter. It all depends on who you're trying to get your message into the hands of. So, What's your website? How can people reach you? Um, our website is chickmedia.us and that's C-H-I-K media. I'm going to throw in a little bit of an yeah. issue there. Um, but it's chickmedia.us and that's how people can go on um, and learn about the marketing and PR firm. And if they have questions about the Melanoma Foundation, they can go to mfne.org. Did I miss anything in interviewing you today? No, you I, think, <laughs> I think we got it all. Are you from here? Are you from here? I'm actually from the western part of the state, western Massachusetts. So. Awesome. Really nice to meet you. So Thank nice you to so meet much you. Thank time. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. Your feet are going to hurt later. Probably. I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.